I'm going to call this um, glitter everything. Meaning that whatever you can find that you want to put glitter on, just do it. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little story. A couple of weeks ago, I bought this toilet seat. Right? And we wanted to keep it very clean at all times, which you should. So what we did was we put Ajax every day on the toilet seat to clean it, to sterilize it. So in the process of doing that, we were taking the color off the toilet seat. Let me see if you can see that. I hope you can see that. You see how the color came off the toilet seat? And it looks horrible, right? It looks horrible. As you can see, scrubbing so hard, we even scrubbed off the paint. This is a wooden toilet seat. Now, if you're using plastic, you don't have to worry about it. You can continue using your Ajax. But what I learned was, this is wood. And we rubbed off all the paint that was on this toilet seat. Now, like I said, this is fairly a brand new toilet seat. So I do not want to throw it away. Right? I bought another one. And that's what's on the, the um, commode right now. It's the other one that I bought. But this one here, what I decided to do was glitter it. Right? Now, a lot of people say, how are you going to put glitter in March March? Isn't that going to irritate you? Um, I thought about that. And you might be right. So what I decided that I'm going to use, I'm not going to use the regular uh, Mod Podge. The water base. It's just a sealer. It's a glue. It's a sealer. I don't think it would irritate you. But to be 100% sure, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this one here. This one here is for dishwashing safe. Say I was doing a glass or a cup or whatever. I can use this to put it in the dishwasher. And it should be fine. But the only thing about this here is this has to dry. It takes a couple of weeks before you can... um. You know use it you know be safe for it to be really safe so what is it what what is a perfect idea i already have one on my um my toilet so this one here could sit out for weeks to dry i'm okay with that as long as it does what i need it to do and this is going to be like a deck a, a decorated piece for my um bathroom say for instance if i'm doing all white and i want to you know jazz up my bathroom of course i'll take my champagne which jazzes up any and everything, right, guys? And I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. So, guys, hang on, because we're going to take this toilet seat to the next level. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clean. What I want to do is I'm going to clean the toilet seat. Really good, you know. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to put some in this bowl. Witness, let's see how this one rolls. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. And yes, we're going to put this on every part of this, even on the back, back part. What do you think, guys? Hmm? What do you think? Glitter toilet seat. Just like that. Glitter toilet seat. So we're going to do the top right now. Guys, right, this is going to be cool. I think it's going to work out perfect. I think it's going to be cool. Oh, oh, wow. You don't need that much. Let me put some back.
I finished with it, guys. So look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? Isn't this cool? We're not completely done. As you can see, I use a lot of um, glitter. Please, if you're going to do this, buy more. Um, buy a big one. Do not buy the small one because it will not cover. Or maybe it will. It's up to you. Whichever one that you feel is best for you. If you want to get the small one, get the small one. But I have this large one because I'm doing so many projects with this um, this champagne glitter. So, guys, um, when I finish completely um, Mod Podge and this thing down, I'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. I'm trying to get this. <laughs> check out that toilet seat, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Isn't that beautiful? Now, isn't that beautiful? Now, who wouldn't want to go in their bathroom and see a toilet seat like this, guys? And it costs us, remember, it costs us pennies to make. Why? Because we use the stuff that we had in our home, right? So, listen, that shine, I'm just going to bring you in a little bit closer. And if I get it wrong, I am apologizing ahead of time. But I just want you guys to check that out. Guys, look. And that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Wait until we put that shine on top of it. Right? So what we're going to do now, let me put this down right here. What we're going to do now, we're going to finish this baby off. And before I, I, I get into finishing this baby off, I want to let you guys know something. It's going to take this toilet seat 28 days to be ready to be set on, to be um, um, dishwasher safe, you know, uh, according to... Um, this Mod Podge, it'll take 28 days before you can use this in your dishwasher. I mean, in your dishwasher. So I'm thinking that it'll take 28 days for it to be um, sealed tight, whereas we can use it to sit on it to wipe it down. Let's put a little bit of this Mod Podge in here. Let me just make sure you guys can. Okay, perfectly. You can see. Okay, let's let's just finish this one here off. of the toilet seat because at one time I wasn't going to do I wasn't going to do it on video the back side of the toilet seat but I decided since this is pretty dry in the front that why not let's do the back so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some guiso right and I'm going to mix it with this gold paint and I'm going to paint the back side of this and this guiso is um, something that we would put on canvases you can put it on wood um, all it does is make things, this right here, if I wish to use Giso on this, this would be pure white, pure white, right? And that's what Giso does. It changed the color of things back to its original state. It takes all the color out of things. If I had a canvas here with 20 different colors, Giso would take that and make it pure white. So let me get a little bit of this out of here. Not gonna take that much. Always remember when you're dealing with Giso, less is better because at least you know, you know, um, you know what the next step should be. Say if I'm gonna put some paint in there, right? I know that I don't want to overdo it with the Giso because I want it more of the color. I want it to. I want it to be more of this color than the white Giso. So. Now, I'm going to mix this 
I'm just going to change the geese on to, it's a gold color. I have to put some more in here because I want the color a little bit darker than this. Let's see. It's like a mustard gold. Until I saw and I met your eyes. That's why I'm moving close. To be here and to get you under my skin. No right back to it. 